What is up, everybody? It's me, Noel Granada, with Under Further Review, and it's week five. Um, man, just to recap on just today, Saturday, lots of upsets. My UCLA Bruins lost, and I'm not feeling so good. So hopefully I can bounce back with some good predictions this week on Sunday. Here are my week five predictions headed into Sunday's games. All right, well, to start things off, uh, FYI, Thursday I did pick the Green Bay Packers to beat the Vikings. Um, man, I'll just leave it at that. Anyways, we got um, Atlanta um, at New York Giants. Um, I don't know which way to lean here. Uh, Atlanta's offense without those offensive linemen are really hurting Matt Ryan, and the Giants are back from the dead as they're a lurking zombie team that's looking to really get a good streak going on here so if I were to flip a coin um, I would hope it would land on the Giants because that's the most favorable lean I'll lean here so I'm gonna lean with the Giants and hope they're gonna win. Alright next game Buffalo at Detroit now um, don't know if Calvin Johnson might play um, that's kind of a big factor as uh, he is usually a big decoy um, if uh, teams tend to over uh, scheme their defensive side to just double team or triple team him. So that could be a huge um, lean for uh, Buffalo in my opinion, but I don't know. The safe pick to me would be Detroit, but I'm going to make a risky pick here and pick Buffalo. All right, Chicago at Carolina. Um, I think Carolina has the edge in this game. I know a lot of people... Um, are picking the Bears uh, because of that offense and how they looked against Green Bay last week. But, you know, Chicago's defense is a lot worse than Carolina, and I think, yeah, Carolina has been exposed, but I do think they probably get something going on here, um, especially on offense. I think the defense improves very well and plays a tight game uh, with uh, Chicago's offense, um, and I think Cam Newton has a big day. Cleveland at Tennessee. Now, uh... The spread didn't look too appetizing. It was like minus one Tennessee, and Cleveland's coming off a bye. Uh, I guess Tennessee. Houston at Dallas. Um, all I can say is wow about Dallas. Um, they're really um, shooting out of the shoot strong here uh, for this season, and um, I don't think they lose at home against Houston. I am not a Fitzpatrick believer, and... Um, I know Houston's defense plays well, but uh, I think Dallas still gets it done with the running game, and hopefully they don't let it fall into Romo's hands. So Dallas gets the easy win here. Okay, Baltimore at Indianapolis. Um, Indianapolis, they've looked very impressive, but against weak teams, uh, running up the score, I guess, it seems impressive to me, but um, in the end, I think the Ravens have the potential to go to Indianapolis and upset the Colts, so I'm rolling with the Ravens here. St. Louis at Philly. Now Philly um, lost a heartbreaker I guess, to 40, the 49ers last week and um, you know they're playing a St. Louis team who's just getting uh, some, some rookie Austin Cole whatever his name is. I mean I, I'm not buying this. Uh, unless Philly has trouble with um, Seattle's defense I don't see Philly really having a problem with um, Seattle's offense and I really like um, the big home favorite here in Philadelphia. Tampa Bay at the New Orleans Saints. The Stinky Saints have not been looking good at all. Um, wow, uh, they need a win here. And if they lose this game, I'm gonna have to really reconsider every time I'm gonna try to you know, pick the Saints here because they are not getting it done. The defense looks way worse um, with Bob Ryan, uh, you know, defensive coordinator. I don't know what that team's going through, but they can't get anything going on offense, they can't get anything going on defense. Tampa Bay just came off an upset win, a huge upset win against Pittsburgh, in Pittsburgh, so I don't know, I'm going to have to do the safe pick here, as I still don't really buy Mike Glennon, um, and I'm just going to roll here with Drew Bees and the Saints. Alright, Pittsburgh at Jacksonville, and I've already explained this before, Pittsburgh lost a close win to Tampa Bay. Um, they're going into Jacksonville against um, a rookie quarterback and Blake Bortles. I really, really like Blake Bortles, but I think Pittsburgh gets it done. I don't know if they're going to win by a lot or less. I just feel like in this circumstance, Pittsburgh gets it done and they win. All right, in our afternoon games, we, first one we got uh, Arizona at Denver. Um, 
Denver, they, they're pretty solid coming off um, a bye, especially losing um, from the, having that bye. And um, I don't really see Arizona um, competing that well in this spot. I know a lot of people have them uh, as an upset dog here, or um, especially spread-wise. But um, in the end, I think Denver gets it done at home against the Cardinals. Kansas City at San Francisco. Now, Alex Smith comes back to the uh, old uh, team that he was drafted by in the San Francisco 49ers. Um, in this spot, I think the 49ers are going to edge the Kansas City. I I'm not really buying uh, what they did last week against New England, as New England looks pretty stinky right now. So I'm just going to roll with the safe pick here. Um, San Francisco uh, 49ers need some momentum, and I think they get it done here. Um, I think they win by a touchdown. All right, the New York Jets at San Diego. Now, Jets need a big time win here as they are looking to start their season uh, with no wins. <laughs> and that's troublesome. So I'm still gonna roll with San Diego here because I think San Diego is still too powerful and still too good to let a team like the New York Jets come in to San Diego and try to upset the San Diego Chargers. So I think Phillip Rivers has a big day. I think the running game gets back on track as Donald Brown gets some yards. And the defense, I mean, I don't really see them having any problem with Geno Smith. Geno Smith, he's just not a clutch guy. And um, I'm not really buying the Jets anymore at this point. But who knows? And our Sunday night football game will be between the Cincinnati Bengals and the New England Patriots. Now, um... I don't know about this game. New England, I know they've looked awful, but they're playing at home, prime time. Played prime time on Monday night, but I'm not sure about this. If I had to pick though, which I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna lean with New England Patriots. And finally, Seattle at Washington. Seattle's coming off a of bye. Washington, they just look horrible. Um, I. I but then again, I thought Washington was going to cream all over New York Giants. And I remember not too long ago last year, or what, I forget when it was, St. Louis played pretty tough with Seattle on a Monday night. And this was kind of the similar situation. Um, you know, it depends on really how well the, the Washington Redskins defense plays. But I'm going to go with the safe side. Since it's a straight up pick -em, I'm picking Seattle Seahawks. Anyways, those are my picks for week five. Hope you guys enjoyed my videos. Um, man, last week stunk. I had a big week going in prior to last week, and then I went 6 of 13 with my straight up picks. It was not pretty. I mean, I bet a lot of people didn't do so well. I mean, the average pick em was like 7, and I hit 6. So um, hopefully I can bounce back this week. I'm pretty confident myself in the picks. Um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Please uh, hit me up if you guys have any uh, questions or comments, leave below at the bottom, and I will see you guys very soon.